I'm Damata Kalime Champong and welcome to Financial Literacy 101. Today, we'll be covering the key concept of interest rates. Now, what are interest rates? It's basically a percentage that's charged on an amount you borrow or you save. And they're usually quoted on an annual basis. So for example, um, you have a thousand Ghana CDs and there's an interest rate of 5% per annum. That's another way of saying annual interest rate. It means that if you invest it today, at the end of a year, you're going to have 1,050 Ghana CDs. How did we come up with that? 5% times 1,000 gives you 50 Ghana CDs. You add that to your original 1,000, which we will call your principal, and you have 1,050 Ghana CDs. Now, sometimes you will hear interest rates quoted on a monthly basis. Um, which would be, let's say, 5% per month. In order for you to compare interest rates, we usually analyze them, like I said, per annum. So don't forget, you talk to your banker or your investment advisor and they give you interest rates, always ask them to analyze it. You can do it yourself too, it's pretty simple. So if you have monthly interest rates, you need to know how many months are in a year. So if they are 12 months in a year, which they are, then you take the monthly rate, multiply it by the number of periods, in this case it's 12, and then you get your annual interest rate. So a rate of 5% monthly, annualized, equals to 12 times 5, 60, 60%. So imagine the difference between 5% a year and 60% a year, very different. Reverse goes if you are borrowing money. The same principle applies when you're borrowing money. If you're quoted a rate of 5%, on a monthly basis, it translates to 60% per annum. Like I said, markedly different. It's January 1st, we all go through this. You've had a great Christmas. You, you, you had a really good time. I mean, you, you, you spent money, maybe you overspent. Now January 1st comes by and your bills are staring you in the face and you're like, hmm, how am I going to make it through this month? And then it clicks. You can apply for a quick loan through many of these mobile money services. And you look at the terms and conditions, 6.9 or 7% for 30 days. Honestly, that doesn't sound too bad, does it? On 100 CDs, you'll be paying 7 CDs in interest for the month. It's actually quite, quite good. And these services are actually great if you're in a pinch and you need money very quickly. But like we said, we're talking about effective money management. 7% on a 30-day basis, what does this translate to annually? That's 7 times 12, that's 84% for the year. Now, that's, that's quite high, isn't it? So I, wouldn't, I would say that if you're in a pinch and you know that you can pay back in a month or two, please go ahead. But if you think you need the funds for longer, then maybe you should talk to your bank or another financial institution as they may have other mechanisms for you to borrow where the interest rate will not be as steep. These quick loans are for quick, um, quick loans that you can get quickly, but that you're also going to pay back quickly. If you're not going to pay back quickly, it actually becomes quite punitive. Imagine for 100 CDs that you borrowed, at the end of the year, you'd have to pay back 84 CDs in interest. That's all for interest rates. Next time we'll touch on compounded interest rates, which is another hurdle, but don't get scared. It's pretty simple. We'll explain it to you. And like I said, any questions, please put this in the comment section and we'll address them.